Sal has been cutting hair in New York's largest barber shop for three decades now. The life of a barber and the stories they can tell. It's good to have a random conversation with a stranger, and in the end, you walk away with more knowledge and less hair. We got a lot of history here. We used to be upstairs. My grandfather, the owner's grandfather, opened this up upstairs. And it was crazy. We're in books, magazines. You got the mayor comes here every two weeks to get a haircut. Well, I came here in 1990. Long time, 25 years. Long time. But to me, it's not a job. I enjoy cutting hair, so I don't bother. When I started, I had hair. <laughs> And that's what's good about this city, because you got all different types, you know? It's a whole world and there's one city. Everybody's in a rush, but over here. Yeah. Well, that's one thing about New York, it's always changing. It never stays the same. If you don't change with it, then it's no good. <laughs> but it's always changing. I got a 10-year-old. His name's Antonio. My little baseball player. Oh, nice. He comes here with me on a Sunday. I put him to work. Right. He sweeps around a little bit. <laughs> so this is basically a family. Yeah, it's a family thing. They're great with the kids, you know what I mean? So, yeah, he's a pitcher. He plays anything, really. He's good at bat. You gotta keep him busy. Hopefully, he'll get into the pros when he gets bigger. Make that a so I could retire. Yeah. <laughs> I had to speak uh, Italian because my mother don't speak English. So I got, uh, my wife is Greek. And we try to teach our son to speak a little Greek, a little Italian, Mediterranean way. <laughs> Over here, you work, you run around, you're always on the move. When you go to Europe, it's different. You got two hour lunch. Over here, sometimes I got customers wait, I run in the back, I eat lunch 10 minutes. The quality of life, you make more money, you spend more, but you're always in a rush. So, you know what I mean? At the end of the month, you're both broke. <laughs> Who's living more, a little bit more relaxed? <laughs> There's nothing like it, because I stood in Sicily for two years. And I couldn't wait to come back. Beautiful and everything, but I still miss New York. New York is New York, no matter what is New York. You always complain about it, but when you leave it, you miss it. 